the schoolyard. Finding trouble never will be too hard. Class, you never taught us this. So then she gotta let it blah, blah. Come on and get your game on. I am such a man child. Welcome back to channel. Welcome back to uh, Superhero Wednesday. Where today I love to pit uh, comic book characters against other uh, characters from shows and some movies and whatever that I love so much. And I'm going to do a Yu Gi Oh versus uh, superhero comic book characters. More importantly, I'm going to take a bunch of heroes from a certain anime uh, and pit them against the comic book characters. And them heroes are the elemental heroes. If you do enjoy, please, Wabuski, um I don't think I'm going to give my definitive answer on this. Um, I'm more uh, curious as to see what you would say. And remember, I'm not literally going to chuck a card at the Hulk. It will be the character, the, the, the dual spirit itself. Um, <laughs> because obviously the, the Hulk would just kill a card. I'm going to quickly neck this because I've been buying six of these a day. You can't buy big bottles for some reason I, I choose to buy the little ones. Shit, I don't need to keep in the video, but I'm really shit at YouTube, it stays in. Uh, so yeah, basically, the Elemental Hero is my favourite uh, duck uh, deck um, archetype in the whole of Yu-Gi-Oh! But I'm going to go for the five main Elemental Heroes, that's Persinatrix, Avion, Clayman, Bobblemon, and Sparks, man. Because um, of course there's thousands, well not quite thousands, there's a lot of Elemental Heroes with the fusion monsters. You can have the Neo slot in, so there's like uh, Elemental Hero Flame Wingman, Elemental Hero Neos. The list goes on and on, so uh, Mudball Man. It's, you know what I mean? It's, it's a vast amount, but I've gone for the main five and I've just picked five random combat characters that I think could be counterparts to these characters and um, we'll let them duke it out, say a couple of things. Give us your thoughts and opinions in the comments below which team would win and um, yeah. should we just we're dingy into it? I, the, 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 uh, don't know. Uh, if you could, one of them. Uh, you can't do that one, just one of them. Uh, subscribe and uh, now we'll we're dingy ding ding to ding ding ba bing bing. First up, we've got Hawkman from the DC Universe taking on Element Hero Avion. Of course, it'd be the clash of the winged people. Um, the, the, the winged warriors, I think we should just best describe it. It would be an aerial battle. Uh, the reason why I went for like Hawkman over like uh, Angel from the X-Men, I don't know. I think this one would be a lot more interesting uh, with his, uh, his crazy, I can't remember the name of his weapons called now, uh, and Avion's like hand claw things. It would just be a lot cooler, a lot better. Uh, but who's going to win the aerial battle out of the Elemental Hero and out of uh, Hawkman? Who's going to get... Uh, <coughs> oh, Yazoo. Yeah, Next up is the Human Torch, taking on, of course, Elemental Hero Bust in the Tricks. Uh, and, oh, shit. That, you're not supposed to see. That, gone. Okay, uh, and then, that, yes, yeah, spot on. That, um, that's my private time Bustinatrix picture. I don't know how that slipped in there. Uh, I, I, I'm not a fan of hentai. Uh, why Human Torch against Bustinatrix? I'm going to play this off cool visuals. Uh, both flames. She's the master manipulator of flame. She's the element hero of fire. And of course, flame one. He is fire. Uh, it'll be a good matchup. Uh, again, they can both sort of fly. Well, I, I always have the image of Pristinatrix flying anyway. Human Torch can fly. Who's going to heat it out the best? Let me know in the comments below. And now we've got the powerhouses element hero Clayman and the Hulk. Ultimately, I am going to give an answer to this one. It would be quite cool that the Clayman is nice and big and strong. Solid defense of 2,000. Um, but the Hulk would just punch through Clay, I imagine. Uh, but I mean, he's got the whole ground aspect and stuff as well, I guess you could assume with Clayman. Uh, but still, the Hulk probably would just punch a hole in Clayman. But he's the big powerhouse. And if we do a later version, maybe we can add some of the fusion monsters together. Make Mudball Man and stuff like that to put up against the Hulk, which will probably be a title battle. But yeah, Clayman versus the Hulk. Who do you think would win? I am, yeah, the Hulk's, the Hulk's smashing a hole in him. Fuck all right, it's my private, but still a tricks pictures, stop looking. Of course, Bubble Man and Batman. The only reason why I'm pitting these two together is because 
Batman has a lot of aquatic suits, aquatic aquatic suits, uh, but basically it's the horny things on the top of Bob Man's head that kind of looks like him, plus he's got a cape and that. He is just a water Batman, I really think he is. But Batman, I think this would be a cool battle because he would find gadgets and techniques and a new way of fighting, a new fighting style to take on Bob Man. Uh, but Bob Man, of course, he's the, the only one out of these heroes that has an effect, so he'll bring whatever effect he needs to, to the game, to the battle, to the fight. Uh, and plus he gets does get a little power up with... Um, Elemental Hero, can't fucking remember his name now. He gets a little bit of a power up. He's got a load of equip, uh, magic cards and stuff as well. So, uh, like Bubble Blaster. So that would be an interesting fight. And finally, Sparkman taking on Tony Stark himself, Iron Man. It's the electrical metal type suits, but we never actually get to see Sparkman underneath like the helmet and shit. I've always imagined it's a guy inside of a suit. But doing this video has made me think, is it actually just like a, like an Ultron? Like there's no person under there. He is just an electric robot thing. Uh, but either way, it would be pretty cool. It would be very much like an Iron Man Ultron battle duking it out. Um, Tony Stark find a way to uh, short circuit Sparkman or vice versa. Because like I said, he is the elemental hero of electricity. Um, where would it go? Nobody knows. Let me know in the comments below. And there we go. Visual stop looking at my Pistina tricks. She's mine, that's my private picture. Go away. Sorry about that. My, my joke's not getting, uh, probably getting more, more cringy, more cringy, yeah, more cringy, cool. Um, but yes, who would win? The Elemental Heroes, them five, against these five comic book characters. We can do a big, bigger, better one. We can add different comic book heroes in. We can add the fusion monsters. Uh, we can add the Neo Space and stuff. Whatever you want, if you want this video again, into future and plus I wanted to make a cool thumbnail of just one of the element heroes up against one of the Avengers or Justice League members. I don't know who's going to be in it quite yet. But let me know in the comments below any thoughts you have for visuals. That was this week's Superhero Wednesday. Hopefully you enjoyed. I've started to talk like a bit of a posh baby. Don't know why, but I've got my Squirtle ready for a... Uh... Squirtle my canvas. It's a hot day. It's a good way to keep yourself refreshed. A lot of, lot of tap water. I've got my coffee still. I've had my, my, my Yazoo, um, I'm planning on filming my uh, other video which has got Squirtle related into it. Doesn't matter about that, visuals, thank you for watching this, keep it in your keyboard, web slinging out.